Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a makeup tutorial on this look that I'm wearing here. It is a cool tone, smoky eye, and I'm really digging it. Got a halo effect, and it's very out of my comfort zone. I'm a very warm tone kind of girl. So if you want to see how I got this look, then just please keep watching. I'm excited about doing this. I haven't posted any kind of cool tone look on my channel thus far. To start out, I'm going to take the shade Light Brown from the Lorac Pro 2 palette. It is this at all in my crease. Kind of bringing this a little higher up, see, like on this bone, because I really want that color to stick out. Next, I am going to take the Makeup Geek Barcelona Beach. I'm going to put that kind of on top of where we just put the buff shade, but a little more at an angle to where it's a little bit more defined in the crease. So this is what I've got now, and I'm going to now take the shade Cool Gray from the Lorac Pro 2 palette. I'm kind of use this to put it on the outer third and the inner third and kind of blend it throughout. I'm going to pick back up my blending brush and just kind of run that through the crease to keep that cool gray and Barcelona Beach blended together to where it doesn't look so harsh. Okay, I'm going to take some of that light brown and Barcelona Beach and mix it together and just kind of blend that out. Here I'm going to go ahead and take the color White Lies from Makeup Geek. And I'm going to use that on my brow bone. Kind of blend that together a little. Now, I'm going to take the Rosé from the Lorac 2. And I'm just going to use my finger and pop it on the middle part of my eye. Yeah, I feel like it needs a little more to be as poppin' as I want it to be. I'm going to pick up some of that shade and I'm going to spray it with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus. Get a little bit wet and I'm going to apply it on the top of it. I'm liking it so far, even though I don't do cool tones, I like it. I'm going to take, it's an e.l.f. eyeliner brush, but if you've watched me before, you know I don't use it as eyeliner brush. I'm going to use it as a shadow brush. I'm going to use the charcoal shade, the one that is the darkest. I'm going to put that as close to my bottom lash line as possible. I'm going to stop with that right about the beginning of my lashes. I'm not going to bring it all the way in. Now I'm going to take the light brown shade and then just kind of use that to blend out this shade. I'm going to run my blending brush back through just for good measures. Make sure everything is nice and blended. Use it at the front, the back. I'm just going to check and make sure everything is nice and blended. On the inner corner, I'm going to take Lorac 2 palette in the white shade, which is called Snow. And I'm going to just use that on my inner corner. 
I'm gonna curl my lashes. I'm not gonna do any liner or any lashes today. I'm just gonna go natural lashes. I'm gonna get them as curled as possible. I'm gonna take the Lancome Seals Booster XL and prime my bottom lashes and top lashes with this. I'm gonna use the Lancome Monsieur Big and use this on my top lashes. I like using this lash primer and this mascara. It makes your lashes so full. I mean, look at that. And that is all natural. Looks good. So for my bottom lashes, I'm just going to use the CoverGirl Total Tease. I'm gonna I love this mascara. And for lips, I'm going to take the Lippy Pencil by ColourPop in the shade Bound. And I'm going to just line, well, I thought I was. Look at that. Okay, so I'm going to take Bound and just line my lips. And I'm going to top that with the NARS Audacious Lipstick in the shade Raquel. Okay guys, this is the finished look. I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up if you like these kind of videos where we just kind of chill and play with makeup. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you all and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!